Hello, my name's Christopher, and I'll be showing you how to install Memos on Casa OS. And Memos is a privacy focused note taking app, so it's really cool. Got a nice UI to it. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So this is what we will be installing today. It, it, it's a, a privacy first, lightweight, note-taking service. Easily capture and share your great thoughts. So it's got a really nice UI to it. You can see um, they have documentation, live demo, and they have Discord and Telegram. So open source and free forever, self-hosting with Docker. That's what we'll be doing today. And then pure text and added markdown support. I can customize your share notes I, effortlessly. A RESTful API for third-party services. So we're going to get to installing it now. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. And then I'm going to go to how to install memos on Casa OS right here. And then I'm going to go into Docker Compose. So I'm going to explain it. So version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. Set some services. Service underneath the, uh, the services called memos. And then I'm going to set an image underneath the memos to get the Docker uh, image. And that'll be coming off Docker Hub. And then um, I'm going to set a latest tag. Uh, how you know it's going to be coming off Docker Hub is there's no URL be uh, in the beginning of this. So I'm going to set a container name. It's called memos. And then I'm going to map some volumes. So data, app data, memos is on the host side. You can change this if you'd like. And on the container side, it's var opt memos. You cannot change the container side. So now I'm going to map up a port. So 5230 is on the host side. If this does collide with another port, you can change it. And on the container side is 5230. So you cannot change the container side. So now that I explained that, I'm going to go over to copy raw file. And then I'm going to go to Mikasa OS and get this installed. So now we're going to get to installing memos. So I'm going to start on the Casa OS dashboard. I'm going to go to App Store. And then Custom Install up here. And then Import. And then Docker Compose. So I'm going to paste the Docker Compose that I had over in my Big Bear Video Assets. And then I'm going to Submit. OK. And then I'm going to give it a title called Memos. And then I'm going to need to get an icon URL, and I have that over in Big Bird Video Assets, so I'm going to go over there real quick. So I'm going to go back to how to install memos on Casa OS. And then memos icon right here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back over to my Casa OS, and then I'm going to put it inside of the icon URL right here. So we're going to need, I need to set up the web UI. So I'm going to set a port. So there you go. It lines up with the host right here. So it's HTTP. And then on the container is the same port. So this host is this. So, uh, okay, now it's mapped the volumes. And then it's got a container host name in there. So I'm going to go ahead and press install. And now we got it installed. So now that we got the container installed, I'm going to go over the container options. So if you go up to these vertical dots right here, you can open the container uh, in the web UI. And, and then you can set some tips. So you can set a, a tip like this is a notepad kind of like. And then save. And then you can go back in it. You can see it reload the container. So you can go back in it and you can see it saved. You can go to settings right here. And then you can see the settings that you had on your Docker Compose. So you can change some of this and then you press the save button. You can also go up here to terminal and logs. This is great for debugging. And you have a full terminal right here that's in the container. And then you can see the logs. So I'm going to go out of this. And you can export the Docker Compose. So uh, if you want to update the tag uh, or anything in here that's not updatable uh, or, or editable, so you can go over here, export this Docker Impose, make sure you uninstall this, 
and don't delete your volumes and then re-import it inside of the app store and then the import and then import this docker compose that you exported with the change of the tag so i'm gonna go exit this so now you can check for updates for the current tag it's on this will not change the tag and then you can uninstall restart power off and on so that's the container options so i want to go over the volume that we created in the memos so if you go into settings you can see see that we created a volume right here uh, on the host and in the container so i'm going to go to files app data and then memos you can see everything that's in this uh, folder right here and you can check mark them and then you can download copy cut delete and cancel so that's how to get to the volume on the host side so now I'm going to go over the uh, UI now. So I'm going to open it up. You can open it up here or you can open it up here. So I'm going to open it up and you can see that there's no data. So I'm going to sign in. We're going to now create a, an account. So I'm going to just put in the username in and then sign up. So now we're a mod. So you can see our profile, RSS feed, about, and sign out. You can go in here to pro profile and you can see there's no post underneath the profile so I'll just do some te testing real quick okay now you can see that I uh, I put in po post and you can see over here it keeps it in the calendar over here you can put in tags you can go to your daily review you can see resources you can explore you can see the archived. You can um, go in settings and go to my account. You can edit your account, change password, um, create you an access token. And here's an access token for the account sign in right here. So you can go actually go to the preferences. Uh, you can change your language. You can change the theme, uh, a default me memo visibility, uh, da daily review time offset, enable du double click to edit. And then you can put a Telegram user ID in. You can go ahead and add more people to it, uh, members. You can go into system. You can go to ser server name, a memos. You can edit that. D a database file size. You can va vacuum it and clean it up. Allow user to sign up. Disable password login. Disable public memos. Disable uh, a display. Um, with updated time, maximum upload, si uh, upload size, you can change it here. Auto backup interval, you can sh change the seconds, it's zero. So set to zero to disable auto backup. So Telegram bot token, additional styles with cu a custom CSS, and then additional JavaScript. You can go into storage and you can edit your storage right here. You can put a different file name in. Um, you can also go to the database and you can um, you can change it to a database. I'm gonna. You can also add an S3 bucket right here. So you can add single sign-on, and then you can easily search over here in the memos. So cool. You can search right here, and then now you can take off the search. You can change to visible to members or public to everyone. You can go and add tags and um, you can create a resource right here, external link or local file. You can go ahead and add you a checkbox. You can add code in here. So that's how to get started with memos. So I just went over step by step on how to get memos running on Casa OS. Uh, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.